Hello, boys and girls, and welcome back to Math with Ali Al. Woo-hoo. Today, we are going to learn about shapes. Now, all of these shapes are called plane shapes. A plane shape is a closed, two-dimensional, or flat figure. Easy for you to draw. The first shape we're going to talk about is a square. A square is a shape with four equal straight sides and four right angles. I'm sure you've seen this shape all around your house. The next shape is a triangle. A triangle is a shape with three straight sides and three angles. And I know you can think of things that has the same shape as a triangle. The next shape is an oval. An oval is a shape that has a rounded and slightly elongated outline, or it's shaped like that of an egg. We all know what an egg looks like. The next shape is a rectangle. A rectangle is a shape with four straight sides and four right angles with un equal adjacent sides. You see how two sides are shorter than the other? That's a rectangle. And that's what makes it different than a square. Our next shape is a circle. A circle is a figure that's bounded by one curved line and such that all straight lines draw from a certain point within it to the bounding line are equal. There is no opening and everything is closed. I know you can think of all kinds of things that are shaped like a circle. I can. Identifying shapes is an important skill that all children need. It's part of our common core. So let's practice. We're going to use Ami's Shape Sorter. Now, shapes are used as design when making all kinds of products. Take a look at the items on this page and find the flat shapes that are used. Match the items with the shapes on the right-hand side. Hmm, let's start here. This is an egg. What is this egg shaped most like? Is it the triangle, the square, the rectangle, the oval, or the circle. Hey, great job, friends. It's the oval. What about this shape? This is our Earth. What is that shape more like? It's actually the globe. So what is the globe shaped more like? Great job, friends. The circle. Hmm, take a look at this pizza. Look at this slice of pizza. What is this pizza shape most like? Hmm. You guessed it, friends, a triangle. Nice job. How about this wall with all of these little shapes inside? What is that shape more like? I do see four sides. Hmm, would that be the square or the rectangle? Fantastic job, friends. It's the rectangle. Do you see how two sides are shorter than the other sides? What about this shape right here? Looks like a game. Hmm. I see four sides. Super job, friends. You're right. It is the square. Hmm. What about this musical instrument down here? What? Is that shape? Absolutely, friends. It's shaped like the triangle. Great job. And then we have this shape right here. It's our ball. What is that shape most like? Fantastic again, friends. Just like the circle. You are doing awesome, guys. Woo-hoo. What about this shape? Beautiful job. Yes, it's a picture. And it's shaped like a square. 
We've got two more to go, friends. I know you can do it. What about this mirror? Absolutely, friends. It's shaped like this oval. Good job, boys and girls. And our final shape, which is another picture. What is that shape like? Hmm. Great job, friends. You notice the four sides and two of them are shorter, which makes it a rectangle. Wow, you did an awesome job on the shape sorter, friend. Good job. Now let's play the shape searching game, which means you've got to go around your house and see the shapes that you can see and match them to the shapes that we talked about today. So you're looking for things that shape like an oval, a rectangle, a square, a circle, and a triangle. And then I want to know all of those things that you see in your house. Children also need to be able to draw, construct, and describe these geometrical figures. And you should be able to describe the relationships between them. We're going to work on our shapes. We're going to draw them today, boys and girls. I hope you have your wipe off board and marker red. Let's start at the top of this triangle. We're gonna start at the top and we're gonna draw on the angle. See the black lines? Then we're gonna go back to the top and draw on the other angle. And our line straight across. Three sides for the triangle. Great job. How about this shape, friends? This is our oval. We're gonna follow these lines around. We're not gonna go as wide as the circle. We're a little bit narrower. Exactly, and we want to think about our egg. Good job on your oval. Here we are, friends, for our circle. Here we are, friends. One big round line, non-stop. Make sure those lines come together because there's no breaks in the circle. Nice job. All right, friends, here's our square. Let's follow the dotted lines. And remember that the square has four equal sides. We're going to go from our left to our right. Then we're going to go from the top to the bottom. Then we're going to go from right to left on the bottom. And then we're going to go from the bottom of our left side the whole way up to meet our top line. Great job on your square, friends. Four equal sides. This time we're going to make our rectangle. Very good, friends. Very good. Just like the square at the beginning. We're going to start up top. We're going to follow the same lines going across. This time, our lines on the side are going to be a little bit shorter. Great job. Then we're going to go across the bottom. And then we're going to meet that first line up top. Nice job, friends, on your rectangle. Well, boys and girls, you did an amazing job again. And I'm so glad that you know your shapes. I'll see you back here for more math with Ali Al. Have a great day practicing. And bye, friends. Woo-hoo.